Well, well gentlemen of the press, uh, this is Are Olado Tuazan, the Executive Project Director, Lawyers for Reform Group, and Principal Partner, Juryman Associate uh, Chambers. Uh, being a public interest law firm, we are committed to ending terrorism, injustice, and every other corrupt activities that we notice in our society. And one of those inimical activities is that of uh, a notorious terrorist called uh, Saeed uh, Ibile Urakat Aoudoulai, uh, who has been a big threat to the peace and livelihood of people of Lagos State, particularly uh, victims within the Bejuleki area of Lagos State. Uh, his notorious nature has led to death. Uh, it has led to a lot of uh, 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 incapacitation of his uh, victims. Some are here that he just uh, 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 marcheted their head. Uh, maybe these are victims of, uh, of his um, um, terrorism conduct. And uh, thankfully to the Office of the Inspector General of Police, he has been arrested by the Special Tactical Squad of the IGP, presently undergoing uh, interrogation. But we have only come to allow the whole world that uh, for this matter, are uh, not to be compromised by the office of the IGP because uh, he seems to tell us that he has the key to the Nigerian police, that nobody can, uh, is not susceptible to the law. And we, as law abiding citizens, we don't have any other place than the government. We cannot take laws into our hands. But so for somebody who kills, let him be interrogated, investigated. And uh, we plead with the IGP. He has always been using the, some lawyers to run some tactical, uh, deceitful. Uh, mechanism of taking matters to, to we told them in court, uh, hiding under the umbrella of court while still committing crime. But we believe that the office of the IGP will harmonize all cases involving Ibile. His case is more notorious than Shekau because he has money as his kitty, he has sold people's property and assets and also dispossessed them forcefully. We have a lot of them that are in Lagos and across. But the issue of land grabbing should, be, should not be taken for granted and we need to take it with all um, utmost attention. And that is why we have only come to appeal to the President uh, uh, um, uh, Bola Ahmed Tunumbu to please instruct the DG of the SSS and the IGP to please ensure that not just only him, that his likes should be, should be dealt with in this manner. We cannot but put this um, 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 to bear before the whole world that this is a matter of injustice. We have come to the police. We want proper justice to be done and manifestly seem to be done. Thank you, uh, gentlemen of the press. I want the victims to please express. This is Mr. Mike who told me. Please, Mr. Mike, let them know how much your, 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 your predicaments are. Please. Public interest lawyer and other victims, what will you guys do if at the end of the day is released? Because he said uh, he has the key to the Nigerian people. Well, we, we, believe in the, we believe in court. We believe in the law. We believe the, the, the court is the last hope of every common man. Um, we have gotten um, judgment at fundament, or fundamental rights cases that have been delivered against him when he attacked uh, Mrs. Adeyinka Igbinoba. Adeyinka Igbinoba is a journalist like you, but he fell short under the, under the, 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 the attack of a bill whereby he, he, he has incapacitated that woman with one leg now. Why? Because he believes he's above the law. Thankfully, we believe the law will always have its space, but we believe that president is the chief law officer of the country. Beyond the police, we have the DSS. They should also swing into action. This is not a matter of a media trial. We believe in justice. If he has defense, let him come up and show his defense. But he cannot be harming people who are harmless and using police as his cover. He has over 30 police as his orderlies. We initially thought the IG has ordered for, for the dismantling of his orderlies, but yet he has even gone further to reinvigorate himself with orderlies to perpetrate all these victims that are here. So it's not that maybe we are pulling strings. We know his antics. We know what he can do. And that is the essence of why we, uh, on behalf of these victims, innocent Nigerians, and every other one that are not here, that we have only come to cry to the government that enough is enough for land grabbers. Land grabbers should be related as terrorists because they go into places 
invade land, kill people, and dispossess them of their rights. They go to, to kidnap. They kidnap this man here, and they were about to bury him alive. If not for passers-by that are farmers in the bush, he's supposed to be a gunman by now. Him and some of his other colleagues that were working, he attacked this person. You can see this man. He just macheted his head. See, this is a, this is a sign of machete. Just a few days ago, on the 3rd of January, he led his team of over 100 thugs and his policemen to commit this. If he's doing all this, he's attacking this, he attacked this man, beat them to stupor, remove their teeth. So we believe that we don't have any other place than to call on President Bola Ahmed Tunumbu to act. If he fails to act, based on his, it will be an act of omission on his part as a president. So we believe that the president must come to our aid. We appeal to the office of the, of the governor of Lagos State to do the needful to end land grabbing because this is already a menace and citizens, innocent Nigerians are crying to high heavens that their properties have been demolished by land grabbers. We want to end this and that is why we have called that justice must be manifestly seen to be done in this matter. Thank you. He does not, not no. He, has, he seems to be working with some persons within the Lagos State Ministry of Land who help him to forge land documents. And that's why we want to call on the governor of Lagos State to conduct a forensic investigation of all land allotment documents in Lagos State. Because these land grabbers have cronies who move in onto people's genuine property and assets. And these are the reasons why we really want to call on the IG to please, they should not be using the office of the, the, the law enforcement agent to be aiding these people to carry out this illicit act. We are here as partners in progress to working in, 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 in concert with the vision of the new IGP of the police. He has given a lot of standing order. We pray by his word, the Billet's case, it will not just be set free as uh, to make it just look like every other nominal criminal. This is a terrorism issue that we are we dealing are with. The we, we expect the him. police to charge him for terrorism, let them investigate all these atrocities. That is why we say they should, they should not leave any stone unturned. We are not making any media trial. We believe in justice, we believe in the arm of the law, that the arm of the law that has caught up with Saeed the Biller today, we equally caught up with every other land grabbers across the country. Because these are issues that need to be dealt with on the face and uh, as a matter of urgent national importance, even before the National Assembly. Proper laws and legislation should be made to quell these uh, anomalies that we are being faced with. Criminals are just moving all around there under the pretext that they, they can do, the king can do no wrong. We believe that there is no the, the law is an equilibrium. Both the king and the governor and everybody is equal before the eyes of the law. And as law-abiding citizens, we believe that the Nigerian police will not fall short of expectations. Thank you and God bless. It's getting out of hand. He attacked me with his boys. They beat me. They, that was last year. They beat my client. They go away with his phone iPhone, nothing happened. If you reported him for police, they will even lock you up. So look at my boys here, what he did to them. They attacked them in the bush, they removed one of them, their teeth, and they attacked them with gun and cutlass. They collected their money, they collected their food. So this is what Igbile is doing. So what is this? Reasons. What does he come to do? That is the owner of the land. He's just like that. He will just come into land. He will beat people, drive them away, take over the land, and sell it. And this posting that he has 65 billion in his account, he can do or do. Nothing can happen to him. Thank you. Yeah, can we talk to uh, you? What's your designation? My work is engineer, uh, site engineer. Uh, July 8th last year. We went to our site, we want to work. We just get there, immediately we get there, we want to start the work. I just see some policemen and many area boys with cutlass, gone with this man they call uh, Saeed Ibile. I come to us, start shooting straight bullets to everybody there. Some even sustain with uh, bullets, injury. And even me, myself, they beat me up. The, the policemen use gun to hit me in my face. This is the injury here. They hit me with gun in my face. They take me to bush. They want to go and kill me and my boys. And I thank God. One farmer man is just coming. 
out from his family, uh, from a bush. I tell them that what is happening there, and they rush the man, they want to catch the man, the man run away. Just because they can't catch the man away, uh, they can't catch the man again, they have to tell them to remove my face because they have covered all of our face, naked me, pull all my clothes, say they want to go and bury me alive. They bear, just because the man see them, they have to leave us and beat us very well, naked me there, without doing anything for him. Thank okay. you. Thank you. Please, I want to ask you, my, my 